Good morning. It's Tuesday, July the 12th, 2016, and we're in Psalm 91. And we're in Part B of the 15th verse of Psalm 91 that states this, I will be with him in trouble. God promises that he'll be with us in trouble. Now, there's some implication here that we're probably going to have trouble. Now, remember, we're using as a basis for these promises of God in the context of Psalm 91 because we've made the Lord a refuge, because we've set our love upon him, and because we know his name, he says to us, I will be with you in trouble. Now, to those who know God intimately and passionately, he promises that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Jesus, when he was teaching his disciples, said in John 16, 33, these words, and I read them. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In Matthew 28, 20, in the last part of that verse, in this great commission that God has given us in Jesus Christ, he says, For lo, I am with you always, even to the end of of the age. So I hear Jesus saying clearly to all of us, you're going to have some tribulation in the world. There's going to be trouble in your life. But I am going to be with you in that trouble. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I think this is really important for us to understand. In Christianity, we somehow get into some la-la village where we think there's not going to be any problems that we're going to have to face. And all, all this conversation about faith and, and trust in God will deliver you from every problem you ever had before. No, it's not going to happen. It's not true. It's not what the Word of God says. We're going to have difficulty in life. It's part of life. It's part of maturing. It's part of growing up. It's part of becoming a strong individual in Jesus Christ, knowing that in the world we're going to have tribulation. But in the trouble we're in, we're going to have God accompanying us, standing beside us, and we're going to walk through that trouble, our head held high, understanding God's in charge of our life. We've given ourselves over to him. Now, the Apostle Paul said some really clear words for us. I, I'm reading out of 2 Corinthians 7, 5, and he, he says these words that we probably don't like to hear them. I, I probably don't like to hear him. He says, we are troubled on every side. Oh, come on, give me a break, Pastor. We're going to be troubled on every side. It's Sometimes it's true. Outside were conflicts, inside were fears. That's 2 Corinthians 7, 5. That's the Apostle Paul. Probably a man we, we see exercise great faith in God and do mighty things for God. He says, oh, we're troubled on every side. And that can make us depressed, discouraged conflicts are going on outside of us, in the workplace, sometimes in the home, at school, wherever we're at, in the neighborhood. Fears are, are just creeping up on, on the inside, and, and, and we're supposed to call this a good life. Oh, yes. Here's the reason why it's good. Trouble's guaranteed. But in the guarantee of trouble, you have the guarantee of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords walking beside you every day. Listen, Psalm 91, verse 15b says, I will be with you in your trouble. <laughs> I just want to say this. Don't let the trouble be of your own making. Don't be a troublemaker. But in the trouble that you have in life, in the difficulty, in the test, and the stress, and the duress, Jesus is going to be beside you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. So, Father, today, I just pray that we're recognized, like in this great chapter, Psalm 91, where we've made you our refuge. We've run to you. Uh, you're a shield and our buckler. You're a deliverer and our hope. And we recognize this doesn't matter the difficulty that comes today. It matters that our focus is on you and that we understand you're there. Help us trust you, rely on you, and depend upon you. You are our God, and there is none like you. Thank you. Praise you.
We give you glory for that. Amen and amen. Well, enjoy your day. I don't care what trouble comes. You got the King of Kings walking beside you and the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. Have a blessed one. God bless you.